So, I started this trip across the 1960s to find which comics my mom let me keep I should submit to be created. But now, it's turned into a battle between the companies. What's the result of the 1964 battle? Stay tuned to find out. Hi couple guys and gals, I'm Joe and welcome to the Anachronic Comics channel. During our look at 1963 in part 4 of this series, DC vs Marvel, the 1960s Battle of the Comic Book Values, Marvel dominated, scoring 9 of the top 10 valuable comic books. In 1964, Marvel's dominance continued, scoring all 10 comic book values. That's not to say that DC didn't have some high-value comics, like Brave and the Bold number 54, the first appearance of the Teen Titans. That came in at $42,000 for a 9.6, and Batman number 163 coming in at $35,000 for a 9.8. But Marvel's values were higher. At number 10, we find Amazing Spider-Man number 13 with a cover date of June 1964. It comes in at $50,000 FMV for a 9.6, with art by Steve Ditko and a story by Stan Lee. Another spotty key comic book, it gives us the origin and first appearance of Quentin Beck as Mysterio. Number 9 is Avengers number 8, with a cover date of September 1964, coming in at $54,000 as an FMV for a 9.8. It's a key giving us the first appearance of Kang the Conqueror. The cover art is by Jack Kirby and the story by Stan Lee. As you probably know, Kang will be appearing in the upcoming Ant-Man movie. Number 8 is Daredevil, number 2, with a cover date of June 1964. It comes in at a present value of $54,241 for a 9.8. It's considered a key as the second appearance of Daredevil and Electro as well as Daredevil's first crossover with the Fantastic Four. It's another Kirby cover and Lee story. For number seven, we're back to Spider-Man with the Amazing Spider-Man Annual number one from November of 1964, coming in at an FMV of $72,000 for a 9.6. Now, this significant key has a cover by Steve Ditko and stories by Ditko and Lee. In this comic, we have the first team appearance of the Sinister Six, Dr. Octopus, Craven, Vulture, Electro, Mysterio, and Sandman. This annual also has character profiles of Dr. Doom, the Lizard, and others, while additional pages explain how Spider-Man's powers and gadgetry work. Number six is Daredevil number one with a cover date of April 1964 with cover art by Jack Kirby and the story by Stan Lee. It comes in at $96,000 for a 9.6. Another Marvel key with first appearances and origins of Daredevil, Matt Murdock, and first appearances by Foggy Nelson and Karen Page. Now before we get to the top five, I ask that you zap that like button so that this video will be available to more viewers. Thanks. Okay, here are the top five valued in this battle for 1964. As mentioned, all are Marvel comic books. Coming in at number five is Amazing Spider-Man number 15 from August of 1964, coming in at an FMV of $100,000 for a 9.8. With Steve Ditko cover art and a Stanley story, this is another key giving us the first appearance of Craven the Hunter. Number four is Tales of Suspense number 57 with an FMV of $100,000 for a 9.8 and a one year average of $102,000, which moves it ahead of number five's ASM 15 into the number four spot. With the story by Stan Lee and cover art by Don Heck, this is another key, giving us the first appearance and origin of Hawkeye and the third appearance of the Black Widow. With number three, we're back to Spidey with Amazing Spider-Man number nine from February of 1964, coming
coming in at an FMV of 150,000 for a 9.8. Another Stanley story and Steve Ditko cover, we have another key, giving us the origin and first appearance of Electro. Number two on the list of the top 10 most valuable DC and Marvel comics of 1964 is Amazing Spider-Man number 14. With a cover date of July 1964, it's another Ditko lead blockbuster, coming in at $155,000 for a 9.8. This key gives us the first appearance of the Green Goblin and Spider-Man's first battle with the Hulk. So we finally get to number one, the number one most valuable DC and Marvel comic of 1964. And number one for 1964 is my favorite of the 10, Avengers number four from March of 1964, the comic book that made me an Avengers fan, coming in at a present value of $173,623 for a 9.8. In the story by Stan Lee and art by Jack Kirby, in this key, Captain America joins the Avengers. The comic book also gives us the first cover appearance of Captain America on an official Marvel Comics cover. His previous appearances were on covers in Timely and then Atlas. This also gives us the first appearance of Captain America in the Silver Age, the death of Bucky in a flashback, and the first cameo appearance of Baron Heinrich Zemo. So Marvel shuts out DC for the top 10 most valuable comic books in 1964. The 10 comic books can be yours for $1,004,864. So 1964 was a sweet spot for little Joey also, as I have seven of the top 10 books. So let's take a look at those books. So the first one I have is number 10, Amazing Spider-Man number 13, The Origin and First Appearance of Mysterio. Okay. Next one I have, is number nine, which is Avengers number eight, um, the first appearance of Kang the Conqueror. Next one is number seven on our list, Amazing Spider-Man annual number one, the first appearance of the Sinister Six. This is not in the best shape, you know, and I don't think I even want to take it out to read. So what I did, the other day is pick up a facsimile so I can read through it. Next one I have um, on my list is Spider-Man number 15, origin and first appearance of Craven the Hunter. Next is number three on the list, which is Amazing Spider-Man number nine, First appearance and uh, origin of Electro. Next one I have is number two on the list. Amazing Spider-Man number 14. Origin and first appearance of the Green Goblin. And my seventh book out of these top ten, as I mentioned, probably my favorite um, book of the top ten, is Avengers number four. All right, the first appearance uh, of Captain America in the Silver Age and on a Marvel co comic book cover. All right. So I bought all of these as a kid back in 1964. So what will we see in 1965? Some more Marvel dominance? Well, we'll see in episode six of DC vs. Marvel. Now to see the prior entries in the series, click here for 1963 and here for 1962. Thanks for watching. Be well and I'll see you soon.